Crete Fire Chief Michael Waterman announced on Wednesday that he will retire on April 4th. There just comes a time in your life when you got to sit back and realize that you got to worry about yourself and worry about your family. It's come to that point and it's time for me to open up a new chapter. Starting as a volunteer for Beecher Fire Protection District in 1985 at age 19, Mr. Waterman went on to work as paid on call and part-time firefighter paramedic for Beecher and Frankfurt Fire Protection Districts for 27 years. He also worked at Crete Township Fire Protection District from 1998 until 2017 when he took the job as chief of the Crete Fire Department. I'm thankful for the, the chiefs of Beecher, the chiefs of Frankfurt, the chiefs of Crete Township and everybody along the way who I didn't mention that's helped me get to this point. Um, I can never repay you for giving me the, the time and the education to get me where I'm at today. For more than three decades, Chief Waterman has experienced both the good and the bad of a career as a first responder. The one that sticks out in my mind and will stick in my mind forever was the train derailment of the Amtrak train in Bourbon A back in 98-99. Uh, on March 15, 1999, shortly before 10 p.m., an Amtrak train traveling through Bourbon A collides with a semi-truck trying to cross the tracks. Calls for emergency aid goes out to surrounding fire stations, requesting help with a disaster that claims 11 lives and over 100 injured. Puts a whole new perspective on what this job was all about. I'm proud to say I was part of it because I think all of us that were there that night made a change in somebody's life. But perhaps the greatest highlight of his career was the opportunity to help shape the hearts and minds of future generations of firefighters and paramedics. I've helped train a bunch of people in 36 years. I'm proud of the fact that I can say I had my hand in some of their training, and you always want to keep pushing them to do more and do more. Don't stop. Keep moving. The future is yours. The doors are going to be open. Go through them. Mr. Waterman won't retire entirely, though. He plans to go full-time at the Hack Jensen Funeral Home in Beecher, where he currently works part-time.